Topspin was born in the stable that he is still currently in. My mum invented his grandmother and his mother and I begged for years to have the chance to have a go on him and she eventually gave in. She was a little bit reluctant because he's, he's sharp, although he is very talented. It wasn't an instant match, to be honest. It took a couple of years of perseverance and saying, look, it's me or nothing. And ever since then, I really gained his trust 100%. And ever since that, he's been absolutely incredible for me. I come into anything knowing that he really is going to try his best. To think I did my first five star this time last year is pretty crazy to think what we've competed together since. I've been going to Burley before I could even walk. It's one of those things that I think my mum's felt like I'm a record on repeat. So constantly saying I want to go to Burley, I want to go to Burley and her just sort of thinking yeah maybe one day I think she was anticipating in you know another 10 years time from now and I think to go on a horse like Topspin that you know really is part of the family so to come away with with fifth no I'm certainly never going to forget this year. I've always wanted to represent my country. I knew that we had a really strong team going and with Covid and everything the last couple of years I really, really wanted to do Europeans and I was first to go so I sort of knew what my job was thinking we could get gold but to get the bronze was something that I'd never anticipated. My philosophy would probably be to enjoy it and don't overcomplicate it, especially with the younger horses as well. Really, it's just about educating them and showing them that work is enjoyable and work is fun and when you're making the work fun and enjoyable for them, often you find yourself having a good time as well. So I think it was sort of taking the pressure off of myself and my horses a little bit and just thinking, these are the facilities we've got. I've got some really nice young horses and I just want to make it fun. I think mainly though I have to thank my mum the amount of time and dedication that she has to helping me succeed in what I want to do is, is really quite special and she's not just my coach, she's also the driver and the groom and she's sort of spin support as well and my mental support so the amount that she juggles year in year out, I just couldn't imagine doing it without her. The Longine FEI Rising Star Award is always something that I've sort of followed in the past and you know, I voted for other people, so I never even anticipated to be shortlisted. So the fact that I've won, I just can't thank everyone enough that has, you know, made the time to vote for me. And it really does mean so much. And it's a really difficult sport. And to get an award as honourable as this is, is really special.